so I'm here with uh, Erica and Aaron of uh, Bleed Geeks, and um, one of the other uh, one of the other uh, people I was talking to earlier uh, sent me to you guys. You guys have a really unique product. Well, more than one unique product, but um, one of them is a is a cloth uh, sanitary napkin. And uh, how did you guys come up with that? Um, there are we've been using cloth like as humans for way longer than we've been using disposable products and they have some on the market but they're mostly just really girly and really pink and flowery which <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that yeah but it's nice to have something that more represents like your interests and yeah. things that you like and ones that are just also made really well and not with a bunch of synthetic material yeah so um, you guys have some of the, the qualities of why you would choose cloth but, uh, uh, over here, but what's the biggest one to each of you? What, what's the most important reason that you prefer to use uh, cloth rather than something disposable? Um, comfort and affordability. Yeah. Comfort. Okay. Yeah. okay. And uh, so sh can you show me some of the patterns you guys have got? Because you mentioned before their, their other ones are very floral and, and girly. And what these are... So this is one of our Black Panther prints, which was okay. one of the first Black Panther ones that they put out, which nice. we're really excited about. Um, we also get a chunk of prints from artists. So we'll get stuff off of Spoon Flower oh, yeah, that, that um, like this is a supernatural based print. And, nice. of, and Voltron. a Voltron. Nice. Voltron. They don't release those, yeah, but yeah. we find them from fan artists and then they get a portion of the sale when we buy the fabric. So it's it supports them as well, yeah. which is really nice. Um, so how long have you guys uh, been doing this? About a little over three years, three we've years? been at con selling. We, um, how long were we? Marketing? Uh, so we've been uh, we've been selling for three years. We spent the year before that developing the product, testing different models with people of different flow levels and body types. So by the time our product or our model hits the the sales shelves, it's been tested with all kinds of people. Right now, we're still testing our overnight. We've uh, taken our first round of results with our first prototype. We're adding the, the feedback into our model, and we'll have the finished product out for this holiday season. That's really awesome. That's, that's really neat. I, I was looking at all the different uh, products that have to go into it, right? The, the reason why, so like, you know, my grandma had cloth, but it was just literally cloth. You, <laughs> you guys have like three different um, barriers going on here. Can you kind of talk about what they are and, and how they work together? Yep. We've got our um, super, super soft layer on the top, which is, it is a synthetic fiber because it wicks moisture in and it's very stain resistant, but we also happily replace it with bamboo for people with sensitivities to different materials. Then we have our super absorbent layer, and then we have a backing of water resistant fleece. So it allows airflow, but also keeps things from going just straight through the pad. That's, that's, really, that's really neat that you've got you know these layers that are kind of working together to each provide something different yes. you know um and so um let's see you you so you've got you, whoa that's really neat how it folds up too <laughs> it's really awesome they're really easy to carry around and yeah. we like this pa pattern and style because of the shape like you can do this yeah and the way the diamond works it also makes sure that it conforms to your body and doesn't move so it that's, stays in place that's awesome and so you guys mentioned um, different people, and one of the things that, um, you know, the world is becoming more aware of is that people come in different shapes and sizes, right? We're not just all the skinny models that are rocking on the runway. How did you guys um, test, or how, how would, did you have to um, come away from your first model like, oh, we didn't take this into account or that into account? Did, did it recover, uh, require a lot of change? My first one was very small. Um, so when I went into designing it, I based it on the disposable pads that I was still using, which was mostly liners as a backup to tampons or cups. So our first model was very small and too complicated. <laughs> Definitely too complicated. I switched from a, um, this is our standard, this was our first model. So I switched, uh, it, was, it was shorter, so I made it longer, I made it more curved. I added the, the folding up that, uh, the folding up pattern. Um, I tested a lot of different kinds of materials. I, we really just did um, this performance testing and of course what's softest, what's most comfortable. There were a whole lot of changes. There was yeah. a whole year of changes <laughs> yeah. and tweaks. We had a very, very amazing group of testers that also yeah. that we would give different pads to that would yeah. give us really good, important feedback nice. on like from different body types and yeah. different levels of like what they needed. So that okay. helped a lot. All right. So uh, obviously I'm not female bodied, but I do understand that one 
convenience of the the regular style, right, would be that you can kind of throw them away and you've got as many as you need. So how does, if you switch over to cloth, how, what do you have to change about the way that you that you manage yourself? You know, what do you, how many do you need to have at a time? Those type of things. It depends on, on the person and the sure, day. Sure. Um, a lot of it, sometimes you're fine with one throughout a day. Sometimes yeah. there's several that you need to change yeah. through. And that's just individual to each person. The bonus is that you just wash them and throw them in the dryer and then you have them. So you don't have to run out to the store or preemptively buy things online right. in case. Right. And you also don't have to worry about having to buy them again. Um, they save about 250 bucks a year. That's that's really incredible. And so what is the lifespan of, of one? So how many times can you wash it and reuse it before you need another one? They last about five to 10 years. That's that's incredible. That's that's really cool. Um, so so you, uh, you really are making a big impact on the environment because instead of, you know, the plastic and the cotton and the dyes, I know that's a, you know, a big controversy that I've heard from, from people that, you know, because we have this idea that white is clean, right? There's a lot of that that goes into it. And for some people that, yeah. Um, so that's, that's great. So it's environmental, it's, it's comfier. Um, you never have to buy it again. Uh, so how many do you recommend someone buys or what would get you through a year basically? Um, usually people, um, their average like supply that they'll use so that they don't have to do a ton of laundry yeah, yeah. that week yeah. is um, about 10 to 12 and then what type varies on what they need. Okay. So some people will do 10 to 12 of the lighter ones right. and some will do like a lot more of the heavier ones right. and that just depends. Yeah. And um, that's pretty much it. A lot of people will just start with one or two and slowly, like, slowly add to it right. so that they have the full thing. Okay. And um, I, I think you guys, you also have liners here. Are the liners a similar technology? Um, yes, these are just cotton and flannel. Okay. So it's a flannel core, and then it's just, it breathes really well. It's just kind of like a second layer that you're wearing, and they're not really noticeable. We have a lot of people that use them for daily wear. Um, both younger and also older women yeah. really find them convenient sure. for, for daily use. Sure. Um, and then you also have one unisex item here, the uh, pocket squares. Oh yes, that's right. I, I forgot about that. Bags. Anyone can use bags. They are waterproof on the inside. They're great for carrying your pads around, but they're also great for carrying snacks, travel, shampoos, makeup, anything that could make a mess. Keeps the mess firmly inside and zips up and comes in the same range of fabrics. And then there's our pocket squares, which is basically a modern handkerchief. Anything you could use a tissue or a paper towel for, you can use this for, and you can use it over and over, and it looks much cooler. Um, they're really great. Uh, they're soft on the inside. They're great for when you have a runny nose and your nose is yeah. real mad at you from all the rough paper products you've been using. And uh, well, that's I, I like that you guys have used your um, your research and stuff to do the same thing for the pocket square there because I know for me one reason that I tend not to use handkerchiefs versus just tissue paper is they're really hell on your nose. You know, so being able to have something like that that's still going to be absorbent that will allow you to oh this is this is amazing this is really soft <laughs> holy moly flannel is really good yeah flannel yeah. is really good on nice. the inside of our liners as well as on our pads so the top part and the core of our liners are flannel as well as the whoop, the sides of our pads are are flannel they're soft they're absorbent they're just going to be comfortable and breathable cool so there's there's we've talked about all the benefits we've talked about how there's stuff for men and women. Uh, where can people actually get this other than a co convention? Etsy. Etsy. Yep. We okay. do most of our stuff on Etsy and mostly custom orders. So we'll do things as people need to really fit or also for things that we have where there's like multiple characters. If there's a favorite character you have, we can center it for you oh, okay. so that you have the one that you want there or like theme the buttons and the colors around yeah. what your preference is. Okay. And so... Uh, do you have uh, on your uh, Etsy shop, do you have um, swatches that people can pick or do people come to you with swatches or? Both. Um, we, have, we have a ton of options on our shop with all of the different prints that we have. And then if there's a print that somebody wants that we don't have, we'll either search for it or work with them to try and find it. We had recently um, an artist who'd made her own print from the show Hannibal, who okay. really loves Hannibal. Yeah, yeah. Um, she put it on Spoonflower so that she, she could get a custom order with that print. So we got the fabric and made her a pad for it with that, her own print. So that was really cool. That's incredible. So basically, 
you can you can pick from one of the many um, geeky things that you guys already have, or if you're creative and talented, you can make your own, and they'll they'll make it into your handkerchief, pad, or bag. So uh, that's really awesome. Thank you for talking to me, guys.